So I wanted to discuss meditation and why when you meditate, you don't want to itch yourself. You know how you sit still and try to meditate? You get these itches or, you know, you just just need to move suddenly or you need to think about something, you know, or physically. It's like, oh my God, I have to scratch this shit. No, 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 I have to scratch it. Whenever you have these itches, again, be it mentally or physically, your brain is essentially signing an alarm. It's saying, you know, you have to, to do something, you have to do something, you have to do something. In my opinion, in my experience, that's actually where the biggest benefit, you, you get the biggest benefit from meditation. It's in not reacting to these itches because your brain is like, oh my God, your ear is scratching. You have to scratch it. Oh my God, you have to scratch it. And then you, you catch yourself and you decide not to do it consciously. The moment you fully decide not to do it, like 100%, I'm not going to do it no matter what. The exact moment that happens, the itch disappears. Okay, it's like the weirdest shit ever. And that happens with mental shit. Like, oh, I need to think about this. You're like, no. And then you don't need to think about it anymore. Or it's like, oh no, I need to move. I, I feel like, like my body hurts. You know, my back hurts. And then you're like, no, I'm not going to move. Bam. Like it, the pain disappears immediately. Okay. Or almost immediately. But, but again, a moment later, you don't feel anymore. And where you, you were sure that it's going to be there forever, you know, cause your brain, the way it works, it tells you everything is forever. Okay. And when you feel anxious, it's like, oh no, this is forever. When you feel good, it's like, oh my God, this is amazing. Amazing. This is forever. So you learn to basically not be a puppet to your brain. And then you realize that basically your life is, is like this continuous cycle of reacting, you know, oh, I need to do this and this. And I feel like this. I need, I want to eat this now. And oh, I don't feel good. So I'm not going to do this. And oh, I want to do this now. So yeah, I'll do it. And then, oh no, I feel bad. And, you know, you just keep being like this, like, like you get a, you know, a message from the brain and then you react and then a message and then you react. And it's like, where's the outflow? Where's the part where you decide what to do consciously from a place of, you know, grounded, like identity. So again, when you get these itches or when you feel like you need to move during meditation, don't move, don't change location. Don't, don't scratch. Don't think about like whatever it is, when you feel the the reaction when you can catch yourself feeling the stimulus stop okay and you'll see that it it passes and when you see that it passes you're going your brain is you're going to learn to doubt your brain basically and not listen to everything it says be it a, a sensation or or a feeling or whatever you know an emotion and that's where your strength is going to come that's where you know the 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 willpower is gonna come from it's gonna come from you know the, well, that's where the the identity is gonna come from you know the, the the happiness from realizing you're not your mind you know you're not all these thoughts and reactions and actually they're not even real you know your brain makes them feel real because it has the control to create the illusion of pain or the illusion of emotional uh, of emotional pain or even the illusion of feeling good that's also an illusion so you learn to disconnect from it and just be in this state of conscious um, presence. Just you know, like that kind of state. And now you're here. Now that you're here, it's like a different person. So when you feel like scratching or moving, you know, when you feel that itch, don't listen to it.